case of repression of the media in Pakistan, a TV reporter in Pakistan has gone missing. A senior GOTV reporter, Ali Imran Saib, had obtained a CCTV footage showing the arrest of Nawaz Sharif's son-in-law, Sabda Rawan, in Karachi. The CCTV footage was from Karachi's Avari Hotel. From where Sabta Rawan was arrested, the arrest had taken place hours after the opposition leader and his wife Maryam Nawaz participated in a mass anti-government protest by opposition parties. Now, the footage obtained by Ali showed police personnel deployed to arrest Sabta. Officials from the Sindh police were seen carrying out a 46-minute operation to arrest Sabda Rawan. The missing journalist's wife claims that her husband has been missing after he had gone to nearby bakery. He told the family he would return in half an hour but did not return despite passage of many hours. The family said the police authorities were informed that Ali Imran had gone missing. After Geo News reported about their reporter Ali Imran Said's disappearance, the advisor to Sindh Chief Minister Murtaza Wahab Siddiqui tweeted saying that the Sindh CM has taken notice and the matter is being investigated. Now, PPP Chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has termed the incident as an attack on freedom of expression. Bilawal expressed concern saying, and I quote, muzzling of voices should stop in Pakistan. Incidents of journalists going missing create a negative impression of Pakistan in the world. Media is going through its worst crisis during the Imran Khan government. Pakistani politician and the Federal Minister for Information and Broadcasting Shibli Faraz has also tweeted hoping for Ali Imran Said's reunion with his family and friends soon. Pakistani journalist Najam Sethi has also tweeted asking who is responsible for Savdar affair? Will any inquiry committee take note of the incident? It's important to uh, note that time and again questions are raised about Pakistan's crumbling law and order where journalists are being harassed and punished for doing their job. Similar to the recent case of a journalist disappearing in Karachi, prominent Pakistani journalist Matiullah Jan was abducted on the 21st of July this year. The abduction that took place in broad daylight in the capital city of Islamabad was caught on camera and the CCTV footage had gone viral. Matiullah is known for his criticism of the country's powerful military. He was later released after a day-long disappearance. In another clear attack on press freedom in June this year, two senior journalists from Balochistan had suspiciously disappeared. Local journalists had claimed that Abdul Mateen Achakzai of Khyber News and Saeed Ali Achakzai of Sama News were arrested by security forces. There have been many such cases of brazen censorship in the last one year in Pakistan. In a report issued by Freedom Network, which is a Pakistani independent media rights watchdog, at least 33 journalists were murdered for their journalism work in Pakistan from 2013 to 2019, including seven from November 2018 to till October 2019 alone. Now, the distribution of leading newspapers has also been interrupted in Pakistan. TV channels have also been taken off air for giving platform to opposition leaders. Pakistan must address such abductions and enforce disappearances, the root cause of which is intolerance for freedom of speech and expression. It's not the first time that a Pakistani journalist has gone missing since we also mentioned journalist Matiullah Jan, who was abducted on 21st of July this year. Let's talk a little more about how the state of affairs in Pakistan is, especially when it comes to press freedom. For more on that, I'm joined in by senior journalist Mateen Heather, who's joining us live from Islamabad. Thank you, Mateen, for joining our broadcast. Now, have the authorities managed to establish any whereabouts of Ali Imran just yet? Yes, well, uh, uh, so far, uh, so far, uh, no clues uh, have been found about uh, whereabouts of Ali Imran a journalist associated with largest media group. So our efforts are underway to trace his whereabouts. Uh, so far, uh, efforts have not been uh, successful and no group or no institution or no association or no organization has so far claimed the responsibility of uh, taking this uh, person into right. uh, custody. Uh, yes. Mateen, the last we learned from our sources is that the family submitted an application to the police, but no FIR has been lodged as yet. Is this information correct? And if that's, that has actually happened, why so? 
Well, uh, I have uh, just seen the reports, uh, and I don't have any detail whether his application, uh, whether application on behalf of his family was submitted uh, or not. But if the application is submitted, I think uh, under the law, uh, definitely the police uh, must uh, register case. Police must register an FIR. But uh, there has to be cross check from the police whether application was lodged. If application was lodged, then police was definitely bound to register and case for the abduction. Right, Mateen, considering it was Ali Imran who shared the CCTV footage of Captain Safdar's arrest, is Ali Imran's disappearance an indication of how the Imran Khan government is threatened by the opposition? Well, as far as uh, this uh, particular incident is concerned and how PTI uh, government feels threatened, uh, so this is definitely uh, currently the heat and tension between PTI government and uh, PDM is at its peak, right? So PDM leaders uh, accuse government of uh, definitely taking uh, steps to stop them from holding release, stop them from speaking. And last Sunday, uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan in Islamabad responded uh, very toughly, very harshly to PDM and particularly to for former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. So I don't think so that these PDM rallies uh, is a direct threat, threat to Prime Minister Imran Khan because Imran Khan has all already mentioned that there is no threat to his government from PDM really. But if we talk uh, factually, these PDM rallies are mounting pressure on Mr. Khan, which is why Khan and his cabinet members are speaking again and again, defending uh, definitely uh, themselves against the acquisitions uh, level uh, by PDM leaders. And now efforts are underway by the PTI government uh, to bring former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif mm. back. And for that purpose, Prime, uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan has constituted a high-level committee, high-level delegation, and after getting green signal, the delegation may proceed to London to hold talks with the uh, British authorities to bring Nawaz Sharif back to Pakistan. But currently, the heat is at its peak. Yeah. And uh, definitely, there are, yes, over to you. Right. Since you mentioned that the heat is at its peak, in fact, the tension is palpable. It can be felt. Having said that, it's not the first time that a journalist has gone missing in Pakistan. Why is press freedom going through its worst crisis, especially during the Imran Khan government's administration? Is this Mr. Khan's vision of Naya Pakistan? Well, uh, I would definitely say that there have been incidents of uh, definitely, uh, there have been incidents in which uh, photographers, camera persons, but particularly journalists over the last few months have been picked uh, due to certain reasons. And uh, uh, there have been such incidents even in Islamabad. Prime Minister Imran Khan had made it clear a number of times that he strongly believe on press freedom. He strongly believe, believe on freedom of expression. But the incidents of uh, picking up of journalists, kidnapping of uh, de definitely journalists in mysterious circumstances where Nothing has come on record so far that who people, uh, which uh, institutions are, uh, who were the people behind kidnapping of uh, such journalists. Uh, so there have been no such uh, definitely uh, on the record statement that who had taken, who had picked these people. Even after release by uh, wherever these journalists have been released, even they didn't share any any information that with uh, with, with with whom they uh, they were and how they have spent time with whom they have spent time. Right. So even after I was, even, even after released, the journalists who have been earlier kidnapped are abducted. They are tight-lipped, they do not share details. So, but press freedom in Pakistan, I would say that uh, as far as TV channels are concerned, newspapers are concerned, they are freely reporting, they are freely uh, definitely analyzing everything, but there have been certain incidents, even in your country, where, when red lines could be crossed, definitely, state does take action. So. Even in Pakistan and even elsewhere. When Circulation will not be disrupted though. Circulation will not be disrupted though, Mateen. Channels will not go off air overnight. So that is something that, you know, I'm sorry to say only happens in Pakistan. But uh, he was only uh, hoping that Ali Imran is returned just like Mathiullah John was.